this man makes three million dollars a year with a four hundred dollar VPS. Meet Peter Levels, and this is fantastic. <laughs> I just discovered this guy uh, by watching the Lex Friedman podcast. I actually watched it yesterday, and then I started following him on Twitter. And yeah, of course he's Dutch, so that is already big bonus points uh, for me as a fellow Dutchman. But I started following him on Twitter, and it's just, he's just such a great guy. So the thing about him is that he has a few startups that he did. He did like 100 ideas, or or what is it? You know, 70 plus projects, and 95 percent of them failed. So he did so many small little startups, but then obviously a few of them have succeeded. And the, he has a few things, most notably the nomads.com. He was one of the first uh, original digital nomads. And then he created this website where you can um, like find places to be a digital nomad in. And this is bringing in, what was it, $40,000 a month. And then later he created, when AI started uh, getting big and booming, he created photoai.com, which is now 78000 a month. And no, this is revenue, not profit. And this website is a, a, a website where you upload your own photos and then you uh, tell it, okay, say you just upload a photo of your face and then you say, make this, make a picture of me in a suit with a brown background. And then you get these very good looking pictures of yourself and it actually works like we've all played with these ai models but they never really work but he has tuned it to a way that it actually works when you upload your picture and then um, you get all of these beautiful pictures that actually look good and so he the the thing about him is that he he does everything with jquery <laughs> and php he does everything himself. It's just a one-man show. He has a few people who help him, but it's mainly just him hacking around from a laptop and he travels all over the world. And <laughs> he does everything in jQuery and PHP, which is already fantastic. But now he is also posting on Twitter about his the rest of his tech stack. So here he posted this tweet. Uh, let me see here. <laughs> My my VPS bill is the same it was last month and all the months before it, 384 a month, <laughs> even with increased traffic. So he has now gone on Lex Friedman and his posts were shared by Elon Musk. He's going viral. He, he is already a viral character, apparently. I didn't know about him, but he is actually going viral and all of the traffic is just <laughs> going to this one VPS that runs all of his websites. And <laughs> this is just so funny to me as a DevOps engineer because I also love overcomplicating these things. And this is just so refreshing to see him do this stuff <laughs> on one VPS. $384 a month. It's it's a, uh, what, what is it? A 16-core yeah, it's a 16 CPU, 64 gigabyte RAM uh, <laughs> VPS running on DigitalOcean. And he has all of these websites that we just saw here in this uh, top section. All of this is running on that one VPS. And he is also, uh, he, he wrote, he said in a different interview that I watched of him uh, this morning, he also just always deploys straight to production. So he wrote all of this himself. It's all him and it's all jQuery and PHP, but if he, he doesn't even have a staging environment. So when he changes something, he, <laughs> he posts, he, he, he makes a commit and then the pipeline just changes the static website files with his change and boom, it's out in production. So it's all on one server and it's all on one place. Uh, he's deploying straight to production, no staging, nothing. And <laughs> it's working. I mean, he's making $3 million a month. How much money are you making, right? It, <laughs> and I think it's just so refreshing to see what this guy can do 
with just one VPS and some coding and creating web apps. I mean, it's just fantastic. And like, I'm I'm going to be the first one to confess that I have also recommended people sometimes to do technical changes that maybe weren't even necessary in hindsight. Like you don't not like this is going to be sounding blasphemous to many of my audience members, but not everything needs to run in a container. Not everything needs to run on Kubernetes. And I am the first one to say that I'm very guilty of this. Uh, I always like try to run everything cloud native and on Kubernetes, but this guy is just showing that many things don't actually need it. So there is a bit more depth to this, of course. Of, so doing a little bit of more analysis, we just saw when we go to these websites, he is using um, Cloudflare. Uh, let me see. Can I can I visit one of these again to to get? We just saw. I just clicked it, but I didn't show it. Here, therapist AI. Let's see. No, no, it's also maybe Cloudflare has cached me. But we did see when I was clicking on these previous ones that he, you needed to click on Cloudflare to verify. So. He is using that as a layer of security. That already helps a lot if you have Cloudflare as a CDN, uh, making the content available all over the world or caching it all over the world and then handling the security. That is, of course, a much deeper layer than, than just opening your VPS straight to the internet. So that's number one. And then secondly, this photo AI uh, thing that he does he is not running that on that VPS. Uh, I saw him, he spoke to it on a different uh, uh, interview. Uh, he is using some um, other AI backend service that he has a deal with. So this front end is basically just to accept the files and to handle the payment. And then those files are being forwarded to a, another service that he uses. So in that sense, uh, this this one VPS is just handling the web front end and the databases that he uses. <laughs> He's also using only SQLite for all of this stuff. He's not using Postgres. It's just SQLite. So it's not just running on the VPS. There, there are a few more layers to it. And having Cloudflare definitely helps with the security and the safety of things. But still, it is a really refreshing take to see him do this and then just openly saying, yeah, I just use jQuery and PHP. And he he, he speaks about uh, how complicated things get with frameworks and how big companies will start promoting frameworks and how developers make things much more complicated than necessary. And I am also uh, uh, guilty of this. So I think he is a very inspiring guy. Uh, absolutely highly recommended to check out this episode. I'll link it in the, the video description and uh, check him out. He's he's just an indie hacker who, who, and what I learned from him is that uh, it doesn't have to be perfect in the beginning. When you have an idea, you have a startup idea, just build it, just do it yourself. It doesn't have to be pretty. Just get it up there with a payment link and try it out and then see maybe see if you need to optimize things. Whereas people like me and maybe you too, we would rather do all of the coding beforehand. We build the product, we make it perfect, and then we maybe try to ship it to the public. And if you're trying to make it as an uh, entrepreneur or an indie hacker, that is not the way to go about it. I mean, if you look on Product Hunt... Uh, there are just so many projects every day being released and they are completely beautiful and they are completely fully engineered, but they are never going to make it. They are never going to make bring in the money that the creator should get, right? So very refreshing take. Check him out. And I just thought it was so funny as a DevOps engineer who has a huge Kubernetes cluster relatively running in his closet here <laughs> uh, to run a few web apps to see him run a 3 million business on one VPS. Very inspiring. Check him out. Thank you so much for watching and let me know in the comments what you think about this. Would you run a 3 million business on one VPS? I would probably have at least one backup. 
if if shit goes shit hits the fan and you want to back up to a different region but who am i to say he is making a thousand times more money than i do so all the best to you peter all the best of luck thank you for watching see you in the next one